Hello, Sagittarius viewers. So let's see what's going on with your person, what they're thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they're going to be taking towards you in the next couple weeks or so. For this group, I keep collectively getting, you know, a group that your person really has commitment issues and they're really deep rooted in um, childhood abandonment in um, just painful experience with ex with their exes. Um, and I, I just keep getting this this energy like they are working through it this year. I think that they've gone through a lot. They've had a lot of life changing experiences. They're, um, you know, really trying to better themselves. They're really being introspective and getting to the root of their abandonment issues and their, you know, commitment issues and the way that they run from the things that they love, the, the way that they just can't settle down. They can't sit still. They can't commit. To, to anything or anyone really they're really thinking about that they're thinking about you know family about you know the future that they want and they don't want to be alone forever they realize they're getting older it's time to it's time to stop being so childish it's time to stop running from the things that they really want deep down so let's see and I've gone into some in-depth videos in this channel about um, their commitment issues so you might want to check those out if this reading resonates with you this is a story I've been telling for a while now, so let's see what's going on with them right now. Let's see what their current energy is. Sagittarius. Um, I am also, let's see. I'm also doing a, uh, let's see, I, sorry. I'm also doing a raffle, so if you donate a dollar, you get a raffle ticket. My PayPal and Cash App is below. Just put your email in when you donate. And you have a pretty good chance of winning because I don't really get, I very rarely get donations. So even just a dollar, you still have a good chance. And um, I'll be calling the winner on the 22nd. And if you win, you get a free in-depth video reading from me. All right, Sagittarius, what is going on with your person? Trapped, blocked, tied up, beauty, mystery, enchantment, willpower, strength, and confidence. Your person is very passionate, very passionate, very independent, or they want people to think they're independent at least. <laughs> willpower, strength, confidence, confusion, uncertainty, open and honest communication, message, third party distraction, karmic partner, isolation, loneliness, emptiness, loyalty, stability, vows. Courage, assertiveness, forward movement, X, the past, and soulmate, soul contract, past life connection. I feel like they still are going through an internal battle. You know, it's definitely a process. Like, I've been channeling this story for, like, a few months at least now. And it's, like, it's a process for them, you know? Because they, these, these, their fear is, it's very deep-rooted. Like, their abandonment issues are very deep-rooted. So, you know, some people, some men or some women, it's, like, they're just kind of shallow and they just don't want to commit. They just want to mess around. And your person isn't really like that. It's kind of like their commitment issues are a little bit different than most people's are. It's like this person is deep and passionate and, and emotional and romantic deep down. Um, it's like they're just, they're, they're very damaged. They're um, almost like not comfortable in their own skin. You know, it's like these abandonment issues are, are more deep rooted than a lot of people's are, I think. I mean, it's not... Like, the, if they're ghosting or they're distant, it's not just like, oh, I don't, it's not just like the casual, like, oh, I just want to have fun right now, or I just don't want a commitment, or I just don't like relationships. It's not really like that for them. It's it's more fear-based. It's more, um, it's, it's more like childhood wounds that they haven't addressed, you know? It's like, this person is, I mean, this person isn't basic is basically what I'm saying, is pretty much what I'm saying. Like, I've gone into some of my videos I've done on Sagittarius is like, I've really gone into, into deep details about, you know, where those, those abandonment issues stem from, you know, why they do the things that they do. It kind of gave you an understanding of who they are. Um, and again, it's still a struggle. It's still a process for them. They still do feel trapped and blocked and tied up. But this is somebody who's adventurous. 
This is somebody who is passionate, um, emotional, even if they don't show it. And they're, they're looking at the beauty and the mystery and the enchantment of life again. I feel like this is somebody who's, you know, traveling or somebody who's they're wanting to travel or they're just they're wanting to experience life again they're just trying to get this passion for life back again they're trying to get out of this trapped blocked tied up energy they're trying to find themselves they're kind of it's this is like a really important year for self-exploration for this person and they're trying to be strong and confident and have this willpower to um you know, I think they want to travel. I don't know if they are traveling or they just want to, but I feel like this is somebody who wants to open, like expand their horizons. This is somebody who wants to get out there and experience life and figure out who they are. Like they're really um, in this kind of spiritual open-minded energy right now is, is what I'm feeling. Like they're just really wanting this new energy. Like they're wanting to be a new person. There's still some confusion and uncertainty about how to do that. They are wanting to message you, I think. Let's see if I can get a clarifier card on that. Because they're wanting to be open and honest with you. It could be that they're being distant with you because they want to travel or they want to, like, move to some other location. And so they're not sure about, like, getting tied down to somebody that lives in, in that area, in your area. Yeah, hesitation, mixed feelings. What's this message about, though? What is the message going to say? Or make your move green light, like submissive weak-willed kind of giving into their feelings here i think nostalgia longing i think this person is missing you if they are traveling i feel like they're wanting to figure out how they can work work through that with you though you know like sex seduction i think well they're miss they're, they're missing that about you too they're missing that sexual connection we've got new love here so hmm that new love for them or for you they have new love no maybe could be meaning like a, well maybe like not new love but they might be messing around with somebody do you have new love yeah i think this is card about you i think it's like you've got new love coming in and i keep channeling that for for all these zodiacs like collectively so that's not surprising that you would have new love coming in um hmm Can I get some details about what they want to say in this message? Give me some more details. They're wanting to reconcile, I think. It could be also that they moved away and maybe they're like regretting it now or like they maybe they wanted to travel or move away and so they distanced themselves and now they're kind of thinking about staying. It's something like that. Reconciliation, domination, control. They're trying to be dominant here. <laughs> They're trying to choose a path and figure their shit out and figure out if they can commit or not. There might have been some miscommunication between you guys in the past. Some toxicity, some red flags. Maybe some toxic energy just based on miscommunication. Like maybe you guys were on the same page but you didn't realize you were. Like you came off angry to them or vice versa. And so there was that miscommunication that made this connection seem toxic. Maybe, maybe it wasn't. And now I think they're kind of spying on you. What do they want to message about, though? I think they want to message about, like... I think it's I think it's a really mixed... Here, let me ask. It's really mixed energy in this message. I think that's why I'm getting not getting a straight answer. Because I don't think that they know. I think that they just know that they want to talk to you. And that they want to start being open and honest. And they want to stop playing games. And they want communication with you. But I don't think that they honestly have it figured out. I think that's why I keep getting all this like confusing mixed energy. Like they miss the sex with you or the sexual connection. They're nostalgic. They're submissive. Um, they're spying. There's a weird history there of miscommunication. There's some mental instability on one or both ends. It's all this confusing energy. And I think it's just ample it's just exemplifying their confusion and their uncertainty, um, you know, about themselves, mostly about their own life. Um I do I do still get traveling. Traveling keeps coming up where it's like they want to experience the world again. They want to get out there. They're trying to get out of stagnant energy. They're trying to push themselves. And I think that's part of their journey um, because they're, you know, again, they're they're wanting like they want a family, but it scares them at the same time. Like that that fear of that just that that connection, that fear of loss, it really does scare them. 
And I think that they're just, they're wanting to explore the world because they're hoping to find themselves. I think that maybe they're just stagnant in the place that they're in. So maybe they're wanting to travel because it's like they want to just get out there and explore. And they're hoping that maybe that will, you know, this new, fresh, exciting, passionate, adventurous energy will maybe give them a new outlook on life. They're looking for clarity. They're looking for adventure and excitement and fun. They're looking for a new perspective. They're, you know, trying to just figure themselves out. They're trying to figure out who they are and what they want. They're trying to figure out how to heal from these childhood abandonment issues. Um, and again, it's just really a process. They are making progress. They have been this past year, but it's still a process for sure. It's still back and forth. And they might have some mental instability that they need to address that they haven't fully addressed. Maybe they're not even conscious of their own mental illnesses. Um, maybe it's like they have mood swings and they don't even understand why they have them. They're just like, oh, that's just how it is. Like maybe they need to get, I don't know. There, there could be something there with that where it's like they're not totally mentally stable. Um, and so that's why I keep, yeah, that's why I keep getting this weird energy from them with this message. Cause it's like, they want to be open and honest. They don't want to play games. They want to be real with you. And it could be them wanting to say, Hey, I need to go find myself. I want to go travel. I, I need to figure my life out, you know? Um, but it's just, it's such mixed energy. It's really such, it's such mixed energy here. Hmm. It's like they just, they know that they want to talk to you. They know that they want honesty. They know that you guys have miscommunicated in the past and that you guys misunderstood each other in the past. And now they might be kind of spying on you. And it's like, they just, they just want to talk to you. You know what I mean? Like they're just, they're wanting, they're wanting to, um, they're just wanting that communication with you. They just don't know. It's like they're so confused still, though. You know what I mean? Like, all they know is that they want to talk to you and they want to try to figure their life out and they want to try to figure out the connection with you out. They just, they're lost. They're still lost. Might have been some, like, third-party distraction or karmic there, you know, keeping them isolated, alone, empty. Um, but they're wanting to be loyal and stable. They're wanting to make these vows. They're wanting to, to be courageous and assertive and motivated and, and move forward. I think they're just trying to figure out like what to be loyal to, like what to be stable with. It's like they're wanting to be more grounded. They're try they're tired of being so lost and so confused about everything. Um got soulmate, past life connection, soul contract, X, the past. So it could be a soul contract between you guys. And it's like this is like an ex or someone that's coming back around or wanting to come back around. And they're trying to be courageous and they're trying to be stable, but they are mentally unstable. So it's like a very back and forth energy with them. Any final messages about this person? Yeah, they've been cold and guarded and distrusting for sure. But it's like truth and clarity. I think they're realizing that they got that you guys miscommunicated. They're, they're realizing that they need to be open and honest and stop playing games. And so it's like they're wanting to come forward and choose love. But they're still so unstable. So it's like it's hard. But they're wanting they're wanting to be better. It's like they're not there yet, but the desire is there. The desire to change is there. Like they are wanting more. Um, they are wanting to end these cycles. They are wanting this breakthrough, this freedom. They are wanting this like passion and romance. Um, what's the, what's the most likely outcome over the next few days? Hidden truth. Yeah. Honesty, honesty. And it could be that there's telepathic communication here, dreams, visions, you know, a psychic connection that they're becoming more and more aware of this hidden truth, this passion, this romance. I think that they hid their feelings from you a lot in the past, like pretended like you didn't mean that much to them. And now I think they're wanting to be more honest about that. Even though I sense a mixed energy though, because it's almost like they might be like, hey, like I really do have feelings for you. Like I really do like you. I really do love you, but I'm not ready or I need to travel first or this or that. So it's kind of like... It's like they want to they want to reveal some kind of truth, something that they've been hiding, like some kind of emotion that they've been hiding from you. Um, and I think that there is a strong psychic connection here. Divine intervention synchronicity is trying to push them past the shyness and fear of rejection because you guys need to either move forward or you need closure, I think, at this point. So I think that the divine is trying to push them through these dreams and visions and telepathic communication to reveal this hidden truth to you. 
you know, this, the, their feelings, reveal their feelings for you, and then you guys can figure it out together. So anyway, if this resonates, please go ahead and like, share, subscribe. And remember, if you donate a dollar to the raffle, you know, you have a good chance of, um, of winning. I'll, I'll announce the winner on the 22nd. So thank you guys for watching.